Well, I think the biggest mistake I made was that I didn't talk to anyone about it. Um, I just felt that I had to, you know, buckle up. Yeah. Someone once said to me, um, one of the journalists once said to me, you know, you've got the best smile in politics. And I said, yep, that's because I've had to use it more often than most because, you know, I just had to smile through that stuff. But I do think, how do you cope with it? I had some, I had a couple of good friends who I could talk to about it. But most of the time I just grin and bear it. And I actually think that was the wrong thing to do. Um, and I, again, when I talk to people now, I say, if you are not coping, if yeah. you are having a bad day, make sure you have a group of people or one person who you can go to yeah. and talk to. And that person needs to be completely non-judgmental. Mm -hmm. That's, you just need someone who you can unload to because yeah. there are going to be times when you're not coping. My problem was there were no other females at my level. So, um, and I certainly couldn't have talked to any of my colleagues because, mm. again, good reason to get rid of her. Um, but there weren't a lot of other women around yeah. and a lot of the blokes wouldn't want to admit that they weren't coping either. So it was the biggest mistake I made. I reckon if I had actually unburdened myself and admitted and gone and got some help, you know, just talking to people, I may have actually still made Premier. That's how much I think I made a mistake. So that's so actually just seeking some help, saying, OK, I actually am... I'm, I'm I'm not coping at the moment yep. and, uh, and seeking mentors because you mentioned um, John Howard being a yep. sort of a mentor as such. Um, so that's the importance of mentors, having really good mentors. Yeah. But you see, even with John, I didn't feel confident enough going to tell John because... Because you couldn't show your weakness. Yeah, because I was female and I was a leader and I, you know, toughen up, sunshine, take a dose of concrete. <laughs>